Hello again YouTube, back again with another update video. This time it's the iOS 10 Developer Beta 2, now finally released. So let's take a look at how it performs on the iPhone 5. As you can see right there, the Developer Beta 2 for the iPhone 5, if you're going from the Developer Beta 1, the update weighs in just around 379 megabytes. So not really that much, but what I feel right now is that it's smoother, you know, it's far smoother like in animation task switcher, it's far better now, pretty nice. And also the control center previously in beta 1, if you watch my video right here, um, it's very lucky. Now, it's very nice and responsive, just like the iOS 9. Uh, unfortunately we don't get the 3D touch options here so just like before and this there used to be like playing on YouTube continue to tap to continue playing on YouTube it's now changed and then now the icon for the headphones slightly tweaked and the icon for the iPhone is now white so that's that pretty nice messages now in the draw application here, slightly tweaked. So if you want to choose some colors, it's now right there. And then if you want to go to the video or photo, there you go. You have the dedicated icon for that, which is pretty nice. Um, for the apps, now you can add from the store. As you can see right here, you've got your featured apps that you can download. Classic Mac, Hearts, Hands, Smileys, and much more to come. Manage so you can actually choose which one to pick and which one to leave out. Pretty good. So that's it for the messages. Keyboard sound is now changed. So it reverts back to the old sound, so like this. Yeah, if you can hear that, it sounds just like the previous iOS 9. And also, one bug that I have encountered, I don't know if this applies to everybody, but sometimes when you type in so fast, it, it just can't keep up. It's a slight bit of lag there, so I don't know. Let's, let me know in the comments if you also install this beta too. For the Photos app, um, not much actually changed, um, like the bug, if you want to swipe up to dismiss the picture, it crashes like that. So the bug is still there and also details bug, it's still there as well. So not the, the best, moments is still not in the iPhone 5, which is a bummer. Okay, uh, next stuff which is changed is the clock app, bedtime, if you disable this, now it's faded out, the previous beta it's just black here, so you can't see anything. On stopwatch, now it defaults to the digital clock face, not the analog one, if you want analog you have to swipe over. For timer, you got a different sound here. You can hear it like that. It sounds more like um, combination locks. <laughs> Pretty nice. Really subtle changes. Okay, uh, for the Maps app, now it's a little bit more stable, which is pretty nice. And it doesn't really crash as often as before, so yeah, that is pretty good and really nice addition. And also, in Maps there is new settings dedicated for that you can enable the show park location now if you have a car and you have a Bluetooth or USB connected it will tell you where you parked it last pretty nice so let's back go back to the settings and now usually you find your auto lock for the display settings here in general now they change it into right where it belongs and display and brightness. 
it's a welcome addition by then. Let's see the about version. There's your version and there's the build number. Pretty nice. And let's go back to home. There you go. Slightly tweaked where they have all the wordings there. Get started. Yeah, slightly tweaked. Now you don't have the rooms tab here. You just got home and automation. Pretty good. Uh, health. Not much has changed. Medical ID. Now get the new nice banner. And for I think US only there is organ donations. But here in my country Indonesia it's not there yet. So yeah that's pretty good. Um, let's jump into phone. For the contacts the lag is still there. Yep the lag is still there. And for some reason the word there it just jumps up to the top not in the center which is pretty weird and yeah that lag it's still there needs to be fixed by Apple pretty good uh, mail now something has changed that the filter button rather than a funnel now it's more like a circle with um, some weird stuff in it. not really the best I think I prefer the previous version so yeah, um, music, previously you got all of these tabs, but if you don't have Apple Music subscription, you only have Connect and Radio. There you go. The Apple Music banner is now right there. For the library, now you got, it's not downloaded music, but it's only downloads. Also on songs, you got your shuffle button right there. Pretty nice, and let's get to here. If you jump into the music, now you've got your choice of where you want to play the sound from. And here, iPhone, if you've got a Bluetooth headset, it will show up right there. It's pretty nice. Up next is still pretty much the same. And the lag there in the menu, it's still there. <laughs> Not really the best. Okay. Uh, volume bug is now fixed as well previously in beta 1 this sometimes doesn't show up now it's always showed up which is pretty nice okay for the notification area right here rather than missed in the previous beta it now says recent pretty good uh, you still got your option right there but if you notice here in the home screen you got your widgets right here in the previous beta you don't have that but now you have that as well so it's available everywhere in the OS and also there's a disclaimer right here whether information provided by as usual from the iOS 9 let's jump in into another stuff that's changed is that the folder background is now it's more white so you can see better about the apps that you have in the folders which is pretty good and also there's new app feedback there you go as uh, so you can actually give a feedback for this beta and to provide it to Apple for them to fix pretty nice and also I have a new animation right here if you want to go back so if I jump back to home I go back to feedback and then I go back to home like here you got a new animation if you're on a different page right there so yeah that's about it for the beta 2 like comment and subscribe for the next update video for this iOS 10 so so far it's pretty much good no not much bugs it's already here most of them has already been fixed and yeah so far so good it's pretty much ready for daily driver yeah as usual thanks for watching and have a nice day